Alright guys, so welcome to my second video. I'm not sure if this is going to be a motor vlog or just a, a general bike video. I'm not sure what you're going to, what I would categorize it as, but basically I've come back to that orange road because I love it so much and uh, I think I've got my audio stuff, my audio problem sorted and today I'm using my company's camera, not my own SJ7. I'm using a GoPro Hero 7 Black. So, uh, yeah, the, the video should be a lot nicer. And the audio should also be a lot nicer. But it's a super, super windy day, ridiculously windy. So hopefully that's not gonna screw it up a bit. But anyway, I'm back at Orange Road. Boring highway journey getting here again. Looks cheaper today for some reason. Uh, let's warm up these tyres a little bit. So, uh, what's the outside temperature today? 15 degrees, so not too bad. Half of the uh, road is under shade and half of it's in sunlight, so it's not, not bad conditions today, basically okay. Alright, tyres are probably warm enough anyway, I just did one run down, down the hill, so now it's time to do a run up the hill. Unfortunately, uh, there was a slow coach on a MT-09 who didn't really want to let me pass, so I'm going to have to pass him again probably. Went past a couple of minutes ago, but more than likely I'll catch up with him. So today, uh, aside from video practice, I want to work on my braking a bit today. Uh, this is the first sort of, without sounding too high and mighty, this is the first sort of budget bike that I've ever had. It's actually the first brand new bike I've ever owned, but aside from that, I'm used to uh, bikes with posh suspension and posh brakes and nice Brembos. I don't know, the brake feel is just a little bit off. My older bikes, anyway, to get to my point, my older bikes I could use just one finger everywhere, even real high speed uh, braking points. But this bike, using one finger, it just doesn't cut it. And uh, for me, using two fingers is sort of a, a bit of an alien thing. So today I'm working on two to one finger braking. So two fingers for the real high speed braking corners and just one finger for, you know, just modulating the brake slightly, adjusting the uh, balance of the, the weight to the front, stuff like that. So a few, few practice points today, both camera, audio, and myself. Oh, and uh, I'm wearing bike jeans today, so no sliders. But some of these corners are super, super knee down corners. It's really winding me up that I can't get my knee down. Oh, big bump there. As I can't get my knee down, I guess I'll just have to pretend and make noises on all the corners. Oh, knee down. And I'll get my knee down in a straight line too. Okay, I'll stop doing that. Ugh. Quite a lot of bumps on the uh, uphill section. Downhill's a bit smoother. Oh, I hate this kind of tarmac. moved about a bit then. I think I'm uh, actually getting onto the right onto the corner of the tyres. You can feel um, it's not drifting or sliding but it feels like it's about to slide. You gotta be careful with my throttle control a bit. This is the first time I've had, <laughs> I keep sounding like a, some spoiled rich kid but it's the first time I've had budget tyres as well. <laughs> I always had uh, Pirelli Diablo courses which just give you so much confidence. But these ones are sort of a bit 
unknown to me, the factory, um, factory Yamaha MT-07, I think they're Bridgestone, something or other. They're pretty good though, I've got no complaints, but when you're sort of pushing it, they can be a little bit unsettling. But actually, to be honest, I've only felt the rear is a bit iffy. The front feels pretty much planted. Yeah, suspension could do with a bit of help, that's for sure. But uh, I think uh, the, the reason I bought this bike is because my previous bikes tended to blow up. And uh, yeah, so I, this time I bought a brand new bike because I wanted to have the warranty and the guarantee. So I don't want to go spending, well actually, I can't go spend any money because I haven't got any money, but I don't want to spend, you know, fortunes on an all in suspension kit or something. So I think what I'll do when it's summer, I'll probably just change the fork oil for a slightly heavier fork oil and uh, oh, manhole cover. Yeah, so some heavier fork oil and uh, some preload adjusters. I think that'll do for now. The rear is alright, I don't mind the rear at all. It's a bit, uh, the rebound is a bit iffy. The compression's alright, but I don't like the way it rebounds so much. It's a bit, a bit soggy, I guess you'd say. Oh, another manhole cover, careful of that one. And today's an MT-09 versus MT-07 battle. And the victor is the MT-07. Sorry, buddy. Don't mean to embarrass you on your bike. But of course, we should all ride within our limits. So it doesn't mean he's a slow coach. Arigato, thank you. Uh, this time he actually noticed me. Probably didn't want me overtaking him again. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I got a bit close to him on the downhill section because he didn't I don't think he noticed me. And I was stuck behind him for about a minute and then I just thought fuck it and just overtook him on a corner. So I don't think he was too happy about that. <laughs> I could see him sort of change his line when he realised that it was a bike coming. Wow -ha! oh, this is a fantastic road. Oh, what's this? Oh, I hate these peaks. Oh, another bike. R3, I think. Matt Black, R3. Oh, Jesus. The compression bump, those bumps are awful. Spine crushers. Ah. Oh, that was a two finger place, but I fucked it up. Oh, I have to edit that off YouTube. No swearing allowed. Oh, I'd love a quick shifter, man. Oh, another bumpy, bumpy. Oh, another metal grade. Oh, gets a bit dangerous around here. Oh, pretty sure on the standard uh, foot, foot pegs, you'd be scraping around all these corners. Oh, that was a one run up. And I think just going to tighten my boots up a little bit and then just go for another run down because I'm having so much fun. I'm not going to check the audio because uh, I'm just having too much fun. Uh, I was going to do a wheelie then. Nice. Why don't you come for <laughs> I'll let you go first so I can never take you again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not too sure if there's like a an etiquette or you know like a rule in Japan because they're also uh, they're all about their rules and the respecting the elders and whatever. <laughs> that guy more than likely is older than me. But also, I don't know if there's like a like an unwritten rule about overtaking. You know, like. Uh, <laughs> Like, if you've got a little bike, you shouldn't overtake a big bike, even if you're faster sort of thing. I heard that there is something like that, so that guy is possibly pissed off that the MT-09's little brother, the MT-07, just did him. 
if he is. Oh, ABS kicked in on the front a little bit there. That was nowhere near locking up. It's weird. Okay, that was two fingers down to one finger. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe there's actually nothing wrong with the bike. It's just that I'm not using enough leverage because I'm used to uh, just one finger braking all the time. Using two fingers like that, it felt more than adequate. I would like to change the pads though to something a bit more bitey. Oh, pine cones. Forgot about that. And this one's dodgy too, isn't it? This corner. Oh, those white lines are so slippery. Yeah, the, what the corners under the trees obviously makes sense, but there's little, some twigs and uh, pine cones and pine needles everywhere, so got to be careful under the tree section. Make mental note to oneself. Two finger breaking. Yeah, that's fine. I guess it was just me all along being spoilt with Brembo's. compression here. Oh. You don't want to go too wide on some of these corners either. There's lots of debris on the outsides of the corners. The middle of the road is safe. There's not really any other vehicles on the road so I probably could run in both, in both lanes but that's sort of like a rule that I've I, I try and keep, you know, like sticking your own side of the road. Last thing you want is to have an accident because of some, because of your own fault, because you're on the wrong side of the road and some old man driving a truck doesn't doesn't see you coming or something. Oh, another compression here. Oh. Two fingers into one finger, slightly breaking. Oh, that was a bit funny. That was a bit odd then. Another big compression corner. Oh, where is that big bump? Here it is. Oh, don't like that so much. Oh, this, this tarmac's horrible. You can see that in the video there's all these lines in it because there's like a rainy season in Japan they have to put all these lines on the road to help dissipate the water but it feels weird there's, the grip levels it's very strange I hate those things I messed up again then should have used two fingers then <laughs> Literally flew off the seat then. <laughs> oh my god, I love this ride. It's so much fun. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly had a high side there. Holy shit! <laughs> Did you guys see that? Oh man! My ass is twitching from that! Uh, what was I saying earlier about these tyres? Fuck! Oh, man, I got my heart pumping! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Woo! Oh, that's a perfect place to stop. There's a nice, 
V a lookout point here. Oh man, I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, so let's end the video there, guys. Before my before my sphincter something happens to my ass. So there you go. Hopefully you can see my bike all right. This was Orange Road in Shizuoka, Japan. And this is my MT-07, slightly customized. Not tuned, just dressed up a little bit. But yeah, that was a fantastic ride, except the last, last corner where I almost high-sided it. Let's have a look at that rear tire, actually. Yeah, I have reached the limit of the tire. I thought so. <laughs> Again, that's because I'm not wearing leathers. If I was wearing leathers, I could use my <laughs> use my knee to judge how much I'm leaning over. Woo! All right, thank you for watching, guys. Time to end the video. I think I'm going to go home. <laughs> Woo!